Welcome to Mike's Videos of Beavers They're just chipping Chipping away All day, every day their own way Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Today we're going to watch video clips of beavers as they waterproof themselves using oils that they get from their cloacas. Beavers spread the oil around their fur using their front paws, teeth, and hind feet. And the oil helps repel water so that it keeps cold water away from the beaver's skin and inner fur. I slowed this clip down so you can get a better look at the beaver's cloaca. You can see just above the tail on its undercarriage, there's an opening and the oil is pooling around it. And so there's a lot of oil in the opening and in the fur around the opening that the beaver can access to spread through its fur. In this clip, you can briefly see a beaver practicing his air guitar, but then he goes back to grooming the reason beavers sit on their tail and on their haunches when they're grooming is because it allows easy access to the cloaca and the oils. So for those who don't know, uh, the cloaca is not common among mammals. It's usually something that you see in birds and reptiles. Beavers are one of the few mammals that have cloacas, but it's a chamber and opening that uh, houses its reproductive systems and its intestinal and urinary systems and so the uh, beaver's sex organs are inside the cloaca. In these next two short clips, you see beavers using their hind feet to spread the oils and groom their fur. On each hind foot, the beavers have a split toe or a split nail that they can use like a comb to comb their fur, remove debris, and spread the oils. It's actually basically two nails on one toe. In this next video, you see two beavers grooming each other. This process is called social grooming or mutual grooming. In this clip, it looks like it's maybe a one and a half year old beaver and an adult. So when they're doing this mutual grooming, two or more beavers will get together and use their teeth and front paws to work the oils in and around on the other beaver and the parts that they have trouble reaching themselves, usually on the back and um, near, the, near the tail. I meant to say earlier that this process of oiling and grooming fur is something that the beavers do several times every day. It's part of their daily routine and they need to do that in order to stay waterproof. Now, I said several times a day, it's probably more accurate to say several times a night because most beavers tend to be somewhat nocturnal. So uh, usually beavers aren't all that active during the day. I'm sure many of you have heard on the internet that uh, something that comes from the beaver's butt is used as a food flavoring. That is different than the waterproofing oil. The waterproofing oil is produced in the beaver's anal glands. Castorium is produced in the castor sacs, and that is something that has sometimes been used as an ingredient in foods because it has a nice vanilla raspberry flavor, apparently. In this next clip, you see three beavers come together, but two of them are mutual grooming or social grooming, and one is grooming himself. Uh, jumping back to the castorium uh, that's produced in the castor sacs, it's actually very rarely used as a food additive anymore. Uh, the internet would lead you to believe that all your foods that you're eating that are vanilla flavored have beaver goo in them. That's not the case. It's just not a very economical or convenient way. There are way cheaper alternatives for artificial vanilla flavor now, so there's only a few specialty foods in Europe that still use castorium with any regularity in the food. 
So that's the end of the video clips. Before you go, I just wanted to point out that I'm not a beaver expert. Uh, I'm not a zoologist or a biologist. Uh, in fact, what's funny is I had recorded all of the sound for this video when it occurred to me I didn't really know how to pronounce cloaca and I had to re-record all of the uh, narration because I had been saying cloaca. So that, that just shows to you I am no expert. I actually had been pronouncing the word wrong for the, the last two or three years while I've been following beavers. So the word is cloaca. Uh, but going along with the fact that I'm not an expert, um, it's possible I'm not 100% accurate on all of the information in the video. Um, like many people, I get my information from Google. So um, over the past couple of years, I've read a lot about beavers, but um, there could be more accurate information that I'm not reading. Uh, I know that a lot of people will say, oh, you're wrong about the castorium. It's used in all kinds of stuff and you're chewing gum and you're putting in everything has beaver butt juice in it. Uh, people will think that because there are a lot of information on the internet that, that tells people, oh, your foods have beaver butt juice in them. Um, in any event, I read what seemed to be a very scholarly article about the, uh, about the uh, issue, and it does seem very rare now um, for the past couple of decades for castorium to be used in food, simply because there aren't nearly as much access to castorium anymore. The beaver trapping industry is way smaller than it used to be. And it's just not economical for food companies to, to buy the amount of castorium they would need in order to uh, consistently produce food using castorium. Apparently there are some, some food specialty food companies and perfume makers uh, and generally more expensive products actually that continue to use castorium. But it's uh, you don't have to worry that when you're pulling things off the shelf in your local Sobeys or co-op or whatever the grocery store chain is called in your neighborhood. So uh, I just don't think it's used very much anymore. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoy watching and filming the beavers when they're oiling their fur. I just think it's kind of a funny, unusual uh, thing they do. And I, I think most people get a kick out of watching it. So thanks for tuning in. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm so glad that you watch my channel and uh, keep tuning in because I'll be adding videos regularly all year. Cheers.